to the American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick. On today's show, we're going to meet Dan Rohr of Prineville, Oregon, and learn about the Mansaver Post Driver. This device is a revolutionary pneumatic air-powered fence post driver designed to eliminate the back-breaking job of hand-driving fence posts, and it works well. Dan Rohr, along with his sons and staff at Rohr Manufacturing, had been producing the Mansaver Post Driver for more than 15 years. It is a device that's working all across the country for many people, particularly ranchers and stockmen. Dan Rohr is an interesting individual, and Cattlemen, you may want to know, he's got a herd of water buffalo he's going to show us as well. Later on, we'll take a look into the process of buying ranch horses through Superior Livestock. We've got a good show for you, and we're glad you joined us. So stay tuned. We'll be back after the break. Welcome back to the American Rancher. And how about the sound of that Mansaver post driver? It enables a person to install one T-post after another about as efficiently as you can imagine, literally in just a few moments at a time. It's a sharp invention from a master machinist, and we're gonna learn about it firsthand from Dan Rohr and others who have used it. Dan Rohr is a somewhat eccentric master machinist and inventor who lives in Central Oregon, just outside the community of Redmond. He is the owner of more than 20 patents in various types of primarily mechanical inventions. The Mansaver Post Driver was first developed by Dan Rohr in response to a fence builder who was complaining about his back and wishing for a wonder tool. In less than a month, the first Mansaver post driver was manufactured and sold. Since then, Dan Rohr has developed a series of fence post drivers and expanded their capabilities with various adapters that allow them to drive almost any shape fence post on the market up to three and a half inch diameter. So it's a, it's a very versatile tool. Almost anybody that can handle 26 pounds for a, a T post driver can use one. It's easily operated because you don't have to control it. Once it gets in the ground, it does its own thing and uh, you can stand back and watch it. You know, it makes their life pretty easy. The fence post driver's compact size is ideal for remote locations and tight spots. It drives T-posts without bending, pounds posts wherever a hand driver will work, delivering 80 to 85 strokes per minute. I got two, two, probably two oldest customers. One's the lady down by Red Bluff that's 87 years old, commercially fence building uh, horse fence for people. I have a fellow that was 87 years old or 88 years old that built fence for the BLM. He, he had to quit building fence because he couldn't handle a tool anymore. Uh, he found out I was building this one and he went back to building fence. He absolutely wore out two tools when he finally quit building fence. I don't know how many miles of fence he put in, but probably hundreds. Roar's post drivers are the only multi-directional pneumatic post drivers in fencing supplies. The T-post puller increases efficiency in removing fence posts. Enhance and maintain your post pounder with accessories, adapters, and a compressor. Well, the man saver post driver who put that fence in about three years ago, uh, tore an existing old wore out fence out. And basically my grandson who was uh, I think 11 at the time and I put in 3,000 feet of fence posts on 20, about 20 foot centers, uh, drove the posts in half a day. Didn't put the corner posts in, but drove the steel posts um, and just n nothing flat, realizing that this is in dirt, not in s solid rock. We didn't have to drill anything, just pound them in the dirt, but it just went so easy. Grandson is not a very big boy, he is today, but he wasn't then, and he ran the driver about half the time. And if you've got a little somebody to help hold the post and get it tipped up and trip the trigger on it, it just goes in the ground. You don't do any of this anymore. 
And it was a great time saver. It had taken me several days to do that old-fashioned way, let me say. <laughs> well, I was pounding T-posts here on the property, and I came in to take a break. And, uh, had a cup of coffee sitting at the kitchen table. I get farm magazines all the time. And I was flipping through, I, I believe it's Farm Bureau magazine, and I had seen this ad. And it's a picture of a gentleman holding a post hole digger, and it says that this can save you time, energy, and money. And it's like, yeah, right. I don't, because I don't buy nothing off the internet or anything without it physically touching it, holding it, or whatever. So I thought about it, and I closed it up. Thought about it, closed it up. I went back out, and I'm old-fashioned when it comes to pounding tea posts. I use a sledgehammer. After about two more posts, I came back in, and I took a chance, and I ordered it. And I went ahead and ordered the air compressor everything because I knew I needed one. A couple days later, it lied. And I looked at it, and it's, it's exactly what the picture was. It's like, okay. And uh, just out of curiosity, I went out and I plugged it in just to see. And it, it really pounded. I mean, it really worked fine. I was, I was shocked. It's like, I can't believe this little tool weighs 20 pounds, give or take. Just, it worked. So when we first bought this property land, we realized that the, the T-posts that, that were here were either uh, old and needed replacing or they were in the wrong place. Uh, some of the property lines were not clearly defined. Uh, fences that were up didn't work for us, so we knew we were going to have to swap them all out. When we got the Mansaver, we went from driving maybe 10 to 20 T-posts an hour to driving a T-post every minute. That's 60 T-posts an hour. That made a huge difference. So the, the time I was paying my friend to help the, the amount of time we saved actually paid for the, the T-Post driver over and over again. The main difference between a traditional T-Post driver and this T-Post driver is uh, you, you're lifting the weight. It's only 35 pounds, but you're lifting it above your head and you're driving it down. With the Munsaver, that's completely automated. So you tighten it to the T-Post, you flick the lever to turn on the air, the T-Post, the driver raises itself, drives back down, completely automated, no work at all. The only work I have to do is to actually lift it onto the T-post and you can literally stand back and watch it do itself. It's fantastic, it really is. Man Saver Post Driver, the smart way to build a fence. Available in an assortment of models, these revolutionary patented pneumatic air-powered fence post drivers eliminate the back-breaking job of hand-driving fence posts. Roar Manufacturing has been producing the Man Saver Post Driver since 1997 in Oregon. Their prices have not been raised since 1998. With one exception, all of the parts are made in their shop located in Prineville, Oregon. The orange painting is also done off-site. Roar Manufacturing is very proud of their product being made in the USA. I'm the owner of the business and my son's the manager. We, we put the shop together from our original shop at my ranch and uh, bought all the machinery down here and installed it and hooked it up and uh, rewired the building to accommodate all the equipment. This is the outside of the unit that actually does the pounding itself. This, this is similar to a hand um, pounder. Um, but it's air driven, so you are hitting the post with that slug in there, just like a hand driver would. This is the inside of the valve that's made with the same uh, lathe here, the CNC lathe. And it goes in as a solid piece and comes out all ready to go. Okay, these are our CNC machines. Uh, this particular one does our valve. It goes in as a raw piece of material and comes out all made for us. We have other raw material that we got cold rolled for our handles and stuff, and we cut that and we uh, form it in this press here. Yeah, he's our welder. <laughs> he takes all these parts that we're talking about and makes them into one unit. Here's one unit right here. These are some of our standard adapters that a lot of people order and the reason for these adapters is that they have to be a close enough tolerance that it won't break the bolts that hold them on there so that's why we need adapters but so we can almost do about anything under a three and a half inch part. Put it on there and lift it up, <coughs> tighten it to the post.
The Mansaver Post Driver is American made and an excellent, affordable alternative to bulky hydraulic or back braking manual fence post drivers. This is a lightweight, portable fence post driver that's ideal for ranches, vineyards, sign and highway fence posts, and marker installations. It's a real worker. We'll learn more about it when we return. This is the American Rancher. Stay with us. Welcome back to the American Rancher. The Mansaver Post Driver comes in a variety of types specific to fence systems. Farmers and ranchers love it. And it also works on chain link fences and for certain jobs performed by highway department crews. Here's more on our story. The name of this product is the Mansaver. Um, it really is a Mansaver. I, I no longer hire uh, help to help me drive the T-Post. So I can do it on my own. And it saves my time, it saves my energy. Once I've finished driving T-Posts, I'm still ready to go with all the other projects that I have to do on the ranch. It really has been a time saver. Maybe it should be called Time Saver instead of Man Saver. Roar Manufacturing's Man Saver Post Driver is the only multi-directional pneumatic post driver available on the market. The unit comes in several models to accommodate several types of post driving jobs, including T-Posts and chain link posts as well as models that work for highway guideposts and related jobs specific to the military. The units come with all the needed accessories, including adapters and sleeves. A portable compressor is also available separately. Get your posts and get ready to go to work quickly. Anybody that has fence posts to drive that are, uh, you know, not in the rocks, that are in pasture land, uh, you gotta save them time. It's easy to put them in the ground. Put the corner posts in, stretch one wire tight, just one along and drove them. I, I did roughly 1,100 foot in less than a half a day, and I, I was amazed. It's like, you know, I ran out of T-posts and I wasn't tired. I mean, and so, yeah, it's, it's, it's quick, it's easy, it's, it's easy to operate. Um, and, and to me, I guess the biggest drawback would be you running out of posts. Starting at $450, the Mansaver Post Driver is that instrument you've always needed for installing fence. And as Dan Rohr says, that's about $14,550 cheaper than back surgery. The Mansaver Post Driver is an American-made product. The Rohr Manufacturing Facility is located in Prineville, Oregon. You can reach them online at RohrManufacturing.com. That's RohrMFG.com. Send an email or give them a call toll free at 800-980-7599. Well, what sets it apart is it's completely portable. It runs on a very, very small air compressor. So it don't take a, take a tractor and a trailer to pull around an air compressor. Uh, it can be uh, used in any kind of terrain that a, that a four wheeler will go. So uh, it's, it's very portable. Water Buffalo Herd came along about six years ago and I had Black Angus and uh, I wasn't happy with them because they were fence crawlers. They're always out having a mess with them. These Water Buffalo, they don't, they don't bother fences. They're very personable. I don't have to drive them with a bunch of horses or anything. I call them and they follow me in any place on the ranch. The water buffalo, or domestic Asian water buffalo, is a large buffalo found on the Indian subcontinent to Vietnam and peninsular Malaysia, in Sri Lanka, and in Borneo. Water buffaloes are especially suitable for tilling rice fields, and their milk is richer in fat and protein than that of a dairy cow. They're meat animals. That's what they're what I'm using them for. They're meat animals. There's a lot of people who have huge herds of these that are milking them and they use the milk to make mozzarella cheese with. Very rich milk. Experts say there are at least 130 million domestic water buffalo and more human beings depend on them than any other domestic animal. They're only a little bit mean to each other, but I have never ever had one even look crossways at me.
We'd like to thank Dan Rohr, the staff of Rohr Manufacturing, and all of our guests for being with us on the show today and showing us the fantastic Man Saver Post Driver. This is truly an innovative and versatile piece of equipment for today's stockman. Check them out on the web at Roar Manufacturing. That's RoarMFG.com. That's all the time we have today to find out more about us. Visit our website, TheAmericanRancher.com, or find us on Facebook. I'm Pam Minnick. Thanks for joining us. I'll see you next time. <music>